sweet dreams of passion through the night. This next homework is going to be the same data set that we're going to be using now and for the next homework. So we're really taking what would have been one big project and splitting it into two homeworks to make it a little more reasonable. So the idea here is we have a store that sells books and they want to predict the number of customers for a random day based off the temperature, the humidity, how many ads they're running that day, um, what the budget is for marketing, whether there's children's hour, what kind of cashier they had, whether they're giving treats to people who come in, and how many books are on discount. So a lot of different variables, but I'm going to walk you through how you would do this. First off, notice there's an error. Find the error. It, it should be way obvious once you find it and delete it. Now, we create a model, start with all the terms, just throw them in with plus signs, and look at the residuals. When you look at those residuals based off every variable, you're going to see a clue that there's numerical interactions. So figure out how to put those numerical interactions in. When you do, the bow tie and fan shapes will be gone. Next step is in the residuals, you're now going to see some curvature. If you get rid of that curvature by adding the right degree of polynomial, and remember that if you have x to the third in your model, you also need x squared and x, the linear term, also in the model. So don't forget those or else it won't work. But once your residuals look good there, you'll now see a new type of interaction. This one's going to be categorical. So look at those residual plots. You should be able to just see it. But if you don't, here's a step that'll help you. Go through and color it. Color it based off either children's or cashier because those are the two categorical variables. And then it'll pop out. Oh, I can see that there's a definite design in this color and a very different design in that color. Let's do an interaction. Once you have that interaction in there, that pattern disappears. Then go through and make sure that you're happy with how all those residuals look, make it look good, and then look at the p-values. This is kind of the pattern for how, say, a final project would go. First you look at the residuals, you make the residuals look good, then you go look at p-values, and you pull out stuff that you don't need. And there is more than one correct answer. So it's okay if your model doesn't look exactly like the one that I would have had. But there are also some wrong answers. For example, if you don't have the things that you need in order to fix the residuals in parts A, B, and C. So now that you have a model that's good and all your p-values are where you want them to be, then we're going to do really what's the hard part of the report, which is to graph them. So graphing interactions is tricky when it's a numerical interaction. You need to have different lines based off of each numerical variable. And if you're doing, let's say, the interaction between A and B, You've got to have a plot of B with different lines for variable A and a different plot of variable A with different lines for B. A lot of students assume they can just do one or the other. That's not right. For the curved variable, you should have a curved graph. The numerical variable, you're going to have different lines based off how many categories there are. As your last step, just make sure that it's working well. Plug these guys in and tell me what you get for your prediction. Your prediction may not be exactly what I get because you may have a slightly different model, but it should be awful close. Um, down here at the bottom, it turns out that the cashier variable, I mean, it combines really two different types of characteristics. If you split those out, you can actually improve your model. That's not required. If there's students out there who really want to go the extra mile, then that's in there just for you to play with. So go ahead and do this. It's not a report. Just show me each of these 10 answers. When we grade this, we're looking at, did you figure out where the interactions were? Did you figure out what the polynomial was? Did you figure out the categorical interaction? Does your model look good? Did you get all the p-values good? And then do you have the graphs the way you want them to look? And were you able to do the prediction? And from here in our next homework, we'll move on to actually trying to write up a report on it.